In today's video, I'll show you a few different Pal World mods currently available. I know everyone's talking about the Pal World Pokemon mod, but because of copyright, we can't show that here for now. Uh, but there are some other mods, and on top of that, I'll show you how to install all of these mods. So if there's more mods over time, then uh, you'll know exactly how to do it and how to get them. These are all from nexusmods.com. These are the highlights of the best mods out so far for Pal World. Let's get into it. The first mod is really awesome if you want a more scenic view or perhaps if you want to take some nice screenshots. This is the Toggle HUD mod and it really is as simple as pressing one button and then the HUD disappears whenever you want it to. By default it's the F9 key and when activated you can get some really beautiful shots. You can go around the map and everything just looks so much more stunning. This one really is super simple to install like the other mods. There'll be a guide at the end of this video to explain how to do it. Very super straightforward mod and this even works on servers as well, not just your own local game. This next mod goes hand in hand with the No HUD mod, but it also works as a standalone one. It's the FOV Changer mod. You can have closer FOVs or even further FOVs than available in the settings between 70 and 130. Now I had to try the highest FOV and it creates for some really interesting looks. And combined with the No HUD mod, it looks pretty awesome. This one is a little different to the other mod installation, so I'll leave a link in the description. You essentially download whichever FOV save file you want and replace it with your current save file. It doesn't remove your data or anything, but you may want to back up your original settings so that you don't, um, you know, if you want to go back to normal FOV, you can. But as you can see, it looks pretty nice. Okay, this next mod, as you can probably hear it, is a little ridiculous. Check this out. It makes every single pal a lucky pal. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess if you wanted to do this, you would have to literally play with the sound effects low for the entire game. But let's just wander around a little bit and see what it's going to look like with only lucky pals. I want to see what how big some of these pals can get. We got to go and see what shinies are when they're really big, like really big pals. Now, if we could change this mod to somehow get rid of the sound effect, I think that would be great. Apparently the, oh my god, the, uh, the bosses just can't be shiny, so that's something in the game that just happens. But I love the way this Gamos is almost as big as this Mamoras, that is hilarious. Now this Gamos is usually so small, so I really wonder what, like, a larger pal would look like. I mean, look at the size of that. That's a normal pal. I think some pals cannot be shiny. That's interesting. Oh, there's something else in the Gamos. Giant Tifant, that's funny. But what I'm noticing, this is quite interesting. Uh, some pals just don't have the ability to be shiny. So if you're trying to look for a, like, you know, let's say a shiny Grizzbolt, it might simply just not be possible. So this is a good mod in a way. Check if your pal could be shiny instead of trying to search for thousands of hours. All of these mods are going to use REU4SS. Now, for this, I'm going to put a link in the description. You want to scroll down here, then you want to download this one, UFE4SSX input. And then we have a new folder. You then want to go to Steam, open up Steam, find your good old pal world and click properties install files browse now we have the location of this file we have pal world here and the input file here then now we want to open pal binaries win64 and then copy all this stuff and go into the root of win64 and then paste it so you have all this down here and then you can delete this folder and then you just simply put your mods in this folder here. One more thing as well, in the actual X input folder that you've just put in your Pal World uh, directory, you want to edit this setting here. You can go edit with notepad, search for this and set this to zero. Make sure this one's set to zero as well. And then this one, you need to make sure this is set to false or Otherwise, your game will crash. Now, just file save, close that, 
And now we have our mods ready to go. So we can install our mods, right? Now, basically we have a mods folder and we can put any of the downloaded mods that we get from Nexus mods straight into here. So we literally just need the mod folder. So for example, let's try this one, a map unlocker. For map unlocker, I just click download. We've just downloaded the map unlocker. We of course want to extract it first. And then we can copy this entire folder and just paste it in here. Okay, so for every mod you install, you also need to go here and simply put in the name of the mod, followed by a colon and then one to activate it. So you can see this mod's text file. You're going to need to do that for every one. And now when we open the game, we'll have it uh, working. Check it out. And as you see, the mod is now working. I don't know what's going on here with my dude in a rock. But yes, it's working. And we can see all the locations of everything. All the bosses. We still have to unlock everything. We have to still unlock all the fast travel points. But pretty good. 